Hi everyone and welcome to lesson 11 on gamification. Uh, we're doing this uh, asynchronously because we weren't able to have an online class because on Monday because of the holiday. So I hope you all had a wonderful uh, long holiday weekend. I am now officially moved into my new house which is very exciting but at the same time I am uh, I'm recording this amidst a pile of boxes. So I just want to highlight a couple of things that I put on this page uh, as an overview um, just as you go through it. So the first thing is I want to thank the group that just facilitated the asynchronous portion of the learning analytics uh, lesson. Um, in, in from their inspiration, I decided to post a few uh, statistics from our WordPress page. Uh, so I've uh, posted some stats on our overall traffic, uh, what our most popular day for viewing is, which appears to be Monday at 10 p.m., which would have been right after our classes. Uh, and then we have a little bit of a leaderboard, a leaderboard uh, for people who are commenting on the WordPress page. So in the lead right now is one more villager. Um, also, I thought it would be interesting to, uh, since we're using Twitter as an aggregate, to visualize some of the data. This was a point that came up in a few of the posts on learning analytics, which was um, the importance of being able to, one, collect data relating to the learning, and two, being able to visualize that data. And then the third point, obviously, being able to have that visualization drive instruction. So what I've done is I've created, uh, used this uh, tool called TweetBeam, and I've created a visual wall of our Twitter feed uh, for the course. And what you'll find uh, with this is it's a really interesting tool because what it does is it visualizes using people's pictures. And if you hover over their pictures, as you can see here, um, it shows the person. So this is Edin. Hello. Um, that's me again. Um, and you can see kind of visually uh, who the main uh, participants are in, in sort of the Twitter world. Um, now, if you want to be on here, then uh, you got to start tweeting. Um, anyways, you, you can take a look at this, and you can scroll through all of the tweets uh, through the course. Um, I think it's a really interesting interesting tool. Um, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of different tools that do something similar, but I thought this one was really nice of the way it visualizes it. Now, it is not a free tool. Um, what you see right now is free, um, but you can see over here it says for evaluation purposes uh, only. So well, when I click on that, it says, hey, you got to pay for this stuff. So we'll just use the free version for now. Um, also, I wanted to... Where we go? There we go. Um, share with you a couple of the platforms that were used during the learning analytics discussion. So I've listed them here and given them relevant links. Uh, these are new ones that perhaps haven't been shared uh, up to this point, but some really interesting use of uh, multimedia tools to present information. Um, and I also wanted to remind you that as a kind of a follow-up or a kind of a lead into the next week's lesson, we need to give the group that facilitated the learning analytics uh, their feedback. So I'm going to ask you uh, as a part of this lesson to take some time to fill in the peer review uh, for the group. If you're, you were in the group that did facilitate, then you're going to take some time to fill this self-assessment. Now, I also wanted to add one more thing, uh, which is a TED Talk that I have uh, uh, I thought would be useful for learning analytics and also kind of taking us into gamification, kind of bridging those two topics. And it's a, a TED Talk by Deb Roy. And basically to do a quick trailer of the TED Talk, what he talks about in this talk is the importance of using data uh, to drive uh, learning and instruction and assessment. And it's he does it through the lens of his own children. So what he does is the his first son that's born, uh, they bring him home from the hospital, and he basically has, uh, he works for MIT, and he's basically wired his entire house with cameras that run three, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. And he tracks his son's uh, patterns of behavior uh, for two years. And during this time, he really observes how his child's language develops, um, and this information becomes really important. Uh, and really valuable uh, for educators to understand language as an entire process. In the second part of his talk, he talks a little bit about how uh, data visualization can be used to show connections um, in online discussions, uh, either using something like Twitter or something else, um, and how those then represent the both the nature and the context of the discussion. So it's a really interesting TED talk. It's only about 20 minutes, so if you have 
you know, a couple minutes to spare. Strongly recommend that you take a look at it. Uh, and I think it'll be a nice bridge between the uh, learning analytics and the gamification topics. Um, so with that being said, I want to lead into the uh, gamification uh, topic. I know that this is a topic that many people are interested in. So our group has uh, created a s'more which is a tool that uh, just allows you to present information visually. And uh, if you click on this link, it will open up the s'more for you. Um, and then you can see what they have planned for us in terms of activities. So there's a bunch of videos that we're going to be asked to watch. And we're also going to be using uh, Class Dojo uh, as a primary resource. So here's a Class Dojo. So you're going to have to sign up for an account for that. Um, so I'm really looking forward to having the opportunity to do some hands-on activities relating to gamification. I'm going to encourage you to participate in these uh, asynchronous, uh, this asynchronous portion of our lesson um, as much as you can. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them either to this more that the group has created, um, or you can post them on the bottom of this page here. So that's about it for now. I look forward to reconnecting with you all next week. It will be our final class. Um, and we'll be wrapping uh, some things up and taking some time uh, to uh, do one-on-ones where you can ask me questions about your final paper. So that's about it. Uh, have a wonderful week, and we'll see you next week.